Conversation 1. Uh, excuse me, do you have a second? We're asking people about great experiences, unforgettable experiences. Oh, uh, yes, if it's quick. Great. Could you look at this list? Have you done any of these things? Hmm, yes, yes, I have. I've been to a karaoke bar in Japan. I sometimes go to Tokyo on business. How was it? Scary. I like singing, but I'm not a very good singer. Or my wife tells me I'm not a good singer. But at a karaoke bar in Japan, you have to get up and sing. Everyone does. And did you? Yes, and it was amazing. Unforgettable. My way. It's my favorite song, you know. Do you want me to sing it? Uh, no, no. That's okay. Have you done anything else on the list? No, no, I, I don't think so. Sorry, I have to run. Conversation 2 uh, Excuse me. What? Have you ever ridden an elephant? What? Why? Uh, no, I haven't. We're doing a survey on unforgettable experiences. Can I show you this list? Have you done any of these activities? Oh, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I've watched the sunrise over Istanbul, so that's one thing. I never get up early, but I was with my husband on vacation, and he was sick, so we were awake all night. So we saw the sunrise. Sounds great. Well, I enjoyed it more than my husband did. It was amazing. Really, unforgettable. And anything else on the list? Well, I've seen a volcano in Indonesia. And yes, I've climbed a volcano. In Italy, on vacation. I got very tired, but it was awesome. Really? Where was that? Well, it was... Conversation 3 Excuse me, we're doing a survey about unforgettable experiences. Right. Two minutes. Could you just look at this list? Have you done any of these things? Okay. Well, I'm not really an outdoor person, so I haven't slept outside or climbed a volcano, and I've never watched the sunrise. Mm, I've never done a bungee jump. I'd like to try it. It looks fun, but scary. But I've never done that. And the other things? Hmm. Oh, yes, I've been in a movie. I'm not a very good actor. In fact, I'm a terrible actor. Is it a famous movie? Well, no, it was a short video. A little drama. My friend makes short videos, and once she asked me to act in one. It's on YouTube. It got over 10,000 hits. That was amazing. Wow, that's interesting. What was it about? Well, I played this woman, and she was... I've climbed a volcano. I've never watched the sun rise. I haven't slept outside. Have you ever ridden an elephant? No, I haven't. Eh. Slept. Red. Met. Ah. Uh. Sung. One. Done. O. Oh. Spoken. Flown. Chosen. I. Driven. Written. Given. Ah. Uh. 
bought, thought, brought. Conversation one. Hello. Hi, Sean. It's Debbie. Hi, Debbie. What's up? Is Kevin there? No, he's not. He went out about ten minutes ago. Oh. What's up? Well, I locked the keys in the car. Kevin has the spare key. Oh, that's sad. Could I leave a message for him? Of course. Just ask him to call me. On your cell phone? No, that's in the car. I'll give you a number. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's see. It's three two two six three two eight. Got it. I'll tell him. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Conversation two. Berkeley Bank. Hello. Could I speak to customer services, please? Just a moment. Customer services. Hello. This is Alan Simpson. I've got a problem. I think I've lost my credit card. I see. I'm sorry. This line is very bad. Where are you calling from? I'm in Madrid, actually. In fact, I'm calling from a payphone, and I only have one minute on this card. Could you call me back? Of course. Could you give me the number there? Just a moment. It's three four for Spain, nine one for Madrid, then three zero eight five two three eight. Let me check that. Three four nine one three zero eight. Five two three eight. That's right. Fine. Now hang up. I'll call you back right away. Thank you. Conversation three. Hello. Oh, thank goodness. Hello. Uh, who's this? Uh, my name's Marianne. Thanks for picking up. Well, the phone rang, so I picked it up. Yes, well, that's my cell phone, and you found it. Oh, okay, it's yours. <laughs> Do you want to get it back? Yes, thanks. Where are you? Central Park by the fountain. It was here in the grass. Ah,、oh, yes. I thought it might be. So, where are you? Not far away. I can be there in ten minutes. Okay, I'll wait here. Great. Thanks a lot. One. Hi, Sean. It's Debbie. Hi, Debbie. What's up? Is Kevin there? No, he's not. He went out about ten minutes ago. Oh. Two. Could I leave a message for him? Of course. Just ask him to call me. Three. Berkeley Bank. Hello. Could I speak to customer services, please? Just a moment. Customer services. Hello. This is Alan Simpson. I've got a problem. Four. Could you call me back? Of course. Could you give me the number there? Just a moment. It's three four for Spain. Nine one for Madrid, then three zero eight five two three eight. Let me check that. Three four nine one three zero eight five two three eight. That's right. Fine. Now hang up. I'll call you back right away. One. It's Debbie. Two. Is Kevin there? Three. Could I leave a message for him?
for? Just ask him to call me. Five. Could I speak to customer services, please? Six. Just a moment. Seven. Could you call me back? Eight. Could you give me the number there? Nine. Let me check that. Ten. I'll call you back right away. Three, one, two, five, four, o, oh, three, nine, one, one. This happened in Australia when I was about twenty five. I spent a few days at a hotel in Alice Springs and went to Ayers Rock and, well, anyway, one day I went out for a walk in the outback. It was a lovely day, so I walked and walked, and then I realized I didn't really know where I was. I was a bit stupid, really, because I decided to go further. I guess I thought I'd find the way back. Um, anyway, after that I heard some dogs. First I heard them barking, and then I saw them. There was a group, maybe five or six dogs, wild dogs, coming toward me. I felt really frightened, but I remembered some advice I, uh, I read in my guidebook. Don't move, and don't look at the dogs. So I froze, like a statue. I didn't move, and I looked at a tree, not at the dogs, and didn't move my eyes. The dogs were all around me, jumping and barking. I thought they were going to bite me. Then one dog did bite my arm, just a little, but I still didn't move. In the end, after about twenty minutes, the dogs went away. I stayed there for a few more minutes, and then luckily found my way back to the hotel. It was the most frightening experience I've ever had.